We know that uh, last about last uh, uh, last two months we released the reasons uh, the the census report about children in the streets and why are people in the streets. And of course, uh, according to what I have seen, the reasons here it's just also what was captured that parents maybe were quarrelling from home. There's disagreement between parents, so the child feels okay. This is not a conducive environment for me to stay, and they bolt out. Some of the issues are poverty. Some of them uh, are disagreements between the father and the mother, or a child is born out of wedlock, and the mother comes and dumps the child at the father's place, and the father doesn't know what to do with this child, so the child feels lost, and in the process, maybe the father works uh, you know as a as a hawker or doing some menial jobs in a factory is not there for the child at the end of the day the child moves out of home now what do we say over here there is a lot that needs to be done as for us as a country to invest in the emotions of people in the social environment i think we need to invest more on what is happening at our environment we already have nyumbakumi and listening to uh, the stories from um, uh, the, the councillors over here, there is need for reconciliation and forgiveness to be done within the Kijiji before these children bolt out. I take this opportunity to call on the Nyumbakumi people, where there is a sub chief, an assistant chief, where there is a chief, to be conscious of what is happening in the social environment of Wanainchi so that we stop young boys. Just see how young they are. Coming all the way from Kakamega, for example, or from Kisi, it's because they could not remain at that particular home. Let us go back to our African uh, virtues of caring for one another. Not all children are equal. There are others you will quarrel and they will still persevere. There are others just missing a meal will make them run away. And you know the street has also been pulling them because of the many resources that are found in the streets. How are these resources found in the streets? One of the resources they find in the street is freedom. You are not being controlled anymore. You are not being given this. And then the handouts that we have. Currently at the uh, social uh, Department of Social Protection, we are working at a policy that will govern how we handle or we relate with people who are street connected. So that if you have those resources, you channel them to a given institution to support those children be reintegrated back to the communities. Because the alms that we give, and we are not stopping people from being kind, but I think we have to give our kindness in a structured manner so that it is not a pulling factor of people or uh, uh, persons to come to the street because they are getting uh, free money or free meals over there. We know that uh, the hotels also have contributed and that sometimes when the food is left uh, and of course uh, then they don't want to throw it, people come there and they get. We want to structure in a way that what do we do with food that maybe then is left and it is still good for human consumption. Then well, I'm sure there will be institutions you can channel that food instead of giving them people lining up to take over there because these are the pool factors that draw people uh, from, the, from their homes. The harsh environment, which we agree, the environment is, is, not, is not friendly. But the, 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 despite uh, the, the, the streets not being very friendly as far as weather and other issues are concerned, but there is food. So some of the things are that which are poverty. And we're saying one of the ways of addressing poverty is in every Kijiji where we have the Nyumbakumi and we have there, we have Wazewa Amta, let us identify vulnerable people graduates Nina walio maliza ma diploma wako makazini, niko na vijana zaidi ya kumi wala ambao wanafanya kazi. Kwa hivyo tumewaleta wazazi hapa kwa ajili tuanze ile inaitwa process ya reconciliation na forgiveness. Kwa hivyo leo 
maoni yetu tunaangazia sana ile tunasema kusamehe. Leo ni siku ya kuangalia ni nini kilichomfanya mtoto aende barabarani na ni nini tunaweza kufanya ili huyu mtoto aweze kurudi nyumbani na aendelee na masomo yake ama aendelee kuendelea na maisha yake. Na kwa hivyo hii mpango wa kuwasaidia watoto na wazazi tuna mipango ya kufanya hii mara tatu, mara ya kwanza leo, mara zingine zinakuja na tunaona hii ndio muhimu. Hata ninapoangalia wazazi walio hapa nimeona watoto wengi wanalia tangu walipofika hapa hawa wazazi wengi wanatoka makaunti tofauti ya Kenya na kuwaona wanakishikana na watoto wao wengine wameona mtoto wao zaidi ya miaka sita iliyopita wengine wameona watoto wao maybe mwaka jana na kuwaona pamoja wakiwa wanaweza kukaa chini wakisaidiwa na wale wanaowasaidia ambao ni counselors ili wawape mashauri na waongoze eh, imenigusa ime sana So the structures on the ground which uh, where, where we usually get our assistance from is from the children's office the social development office so we contacted the officers on the ground to mobilize and see whether we can have institutions who are willing to take in the street families and Onesmas good boys was one, one of them in uh, Kilifi county and uh, we have children and youth who are drawn from Mombasa and uh, we have children and youth who are drawn from Mombasa mainly Mombasa area who are sleeping on the street by that time and remember there was curfew the police were a bit um, not so friendly during the night therefore we made that decision that we we need to house them although albeit so many other uh, i mean reservations again because of issues to do with uh, population and all that but uh, all is well so far we have not had any case they have uh, managed to follow the protocols of uh, and the guidelines of the ministry of health said so that all the boys are well so then our main aim as a trust fund is uh, to coordinate the programs of rehabilitation of street families and also to make um, to undertake uh, public education in matters concerning with uh, the street families The vision of the trust fund is to have a country which is free of street families. Na tuweza kuleta watoto hamsini ambao tuliweza kuenda katika mitaani sana sana hapo mambo kusini Mombasa na tuweza kuongea na wao tukawaeleza umuhimu wa kuweza kuokolewa na kusaidiwa kwa sababu makali ya corona ilikuwa imechacha. Hiyo ni wakati wa March baada ya hii kaunti ya Mombasa na pwani zima kuwa imefungwa ama ile inaitwa lockdown na hapo ndiyo tuliweza kuwaeleza ya kwamba ni vizuri tukaweze kuwaokoa na kuwaweka mahala ambapo ni salama ningetaka sana sana ni seme kwa wazazi ni vizuri wakiona mtoto ameweza kutoroka katika mboma yeye asiende akasirike na achane na huyo mtoto inafaa aweze kufuatilia huyo mtoto na tuko pale katika indara ya watoto tunashikana tunaongea na kila county na kuhakikisha mtoto amerudishwa. Tumemlea hapa wale umesikia ishirini wamesimama, yeye tumemlea hapa lakini sasa amemaliza uh, form 4. Kwa hivyo anasaidia anaitwa Nelson Mwaringa. Mwaringa amemaliza form 4 lakini sasa yeye pia amekuwa nini? Amekuwa ni adminas. Mimi naitwa Bernard. Bernard Bernard ni ongi. Thank you. Thank you. Asante au ni wageni na wale watu tuko hapa wale wengine ni watu wa media na mtu nimeacha haraka ulikuja na timu mmeba mwingine ambayo nimewacha everybody is been catered for eh, kwa hiyo wamenituma haikuwezekana kwa mkao kuwa na mimi niko kipindi kidogo ninakaa nje nafikiri mtu anayenielewa vizuri pale mimi natoka ni ingresi ngao saidia kuzaidia msijana hiyo maneno yote inatokana na wazazi wangu vile walifanya. Si namna hiyo. Kwa hivyo sikwa sasa wacha niingilie huku wageni wetu. Uh, wageni tuwatambulisha tu. Uh, unasimama tu. Jambo, amjambo. Jambo. Biki ni aje. Mko sawa? Si ya madam CS kwa rekodi na cha Biki Limo. Nimefurahi kufika hapa. Wazazi watoto we, watoto wangu wewe ni wa huko Mombasa ukasema nililogwa angalia hao watu wote ndio ujue kwamba jambo linaloendelea ni jambo tunaenda 
kwa pole pole siku ya leo tunakutana tuongee kwanza tusikisane kwamba tukubaliane turudiane hapa sawa sawa home ground home ground wewe dada yetu uh, yeye ndiye mwalimu si mnajua kuna home based learning na tuna watoto katika hii kikundi cha kwanza tuko na watu hiyo haitawezekana kwa hivyo hapo mlipo inajua kwamba salaba ilikuwa ni hakikisha kwamba dhambi zetu zimesamehewa kwa hivyo ni lazima tumuulize kwanza tuko na watu hiyo haitawezekana kwa hivyo hapo mlipo inajua kwamba salaba ilikuwa ni hakikisha kwamba dhambi zetu zimesamehewa kwa hivyo ni lazima tumuulize Kata keki kata keki tukule sasa keki sio ugali kufanya entertainment ya Nimeambia kuna